What's up, ID? Today we're gonna make kua mi, which is a sweet, savory, caramelized fried noodle dish. Absolutely delicious. The ingredients you'll need is vegetable oil, fish sauce, oyster sauce, sweet black soy sauce, seasoning sauce, black pepper, salt, chicken bouillon powder, coconut sugar, you could use regular or palm, eggs, shallot and garlic, fresh green onion, fresh cilantro, and some dried Thai peppers. You could fry these if you like. You could also use bean sprouts. I don't love bean sprouts, so I leave those off. And of course, the star of the show is the pho noodle. This is really great if you've made pho and you have leftover noodle. That's usually our go-to to get rid of the extra noodle. We're gonna place that noodle into a large bowl and submerge it completely with room temperature water and allow that to soak for 45 minutes to an hour. While our noodles are soaking, let's get started on these eggs. So I'm using 12 eggs here. I'm placing those into a bowl and we're going to be whisking that together with salt, black pepper, and our chicken bouillon powder. If you guys love Lao food and you've been watching my videos, please consider being a subscriber to see more content. Once our eggs and seasoning are well combined, add oil to a hot pan and then place that on medium to high heat and we'll put our egg batter into the pan. I have a really large pan so I can do all the batter at once. If you have a smaller pan, you might have to fry this in batches. And I like to lift up a corner of my egg and allow the runny uncooked egg from the top to spill underneath. Some folks like to flip their egg. Um, this is just the way that I prefer. And then I like to cut that in half. And now I'll flip it. It will only take about 30 seconds to finish cooking. Then we'll set that aside to cool completely. All right, so moving back to our noodles, we're gonna bring a pot of water to full boil on high heat. I use a very deep but shallow pan because this allows me to bring my strainer in and out of the pan very easily. You could use a full size pot um, and add your noodles directly to the water and then just strain those into a colander. Uh, but I like to do it this way um, where I can just throw all of my noodles in at once. Uh, really get those fully submerged. It should take about 30 to 45 seconds to get an al dente texture. Immediately add that to a bowl and submerge in cold water to stop the cooking process. So I'll go through a rinse and drain a couple times to remove the starchiness of the noodle. Then I'll put it back into my strainer and let that sit, uh, allowing the water to drain from that. While that's draining, let's start the vegetables and the sauce. I like to cut my cilantro a rough chop. I do the onion at a diagonal, um, mince my garlic down, and then do very thin slices on my shallot. And then I'll go ahead and move on to the egg. Now that it's cool, we can cut that in half and then cut those into strips about this size. Once that prep is done, add oil to a hot pan. And once our oil is hot enough, add our shallot and garlic. And on medium to high heat, just allow that to come to a nice simmer, releasing the aromatic smells. Then we'll add our coconut sugar and stir that in. Our goal here is to caramelize the sugar. It's not something that you want to walk away from as sugar can burn very easily, especially if you're using white sugar. It'll take a few minutes to become a very sticky caramelized texture. Then add your fish sauce, seasoning sauce, sweet black sauce, and oyster sauce. Give that a good stir. Then we'll add our pepper, salt, and chicken bouillon powder. And we'll give that a stir as well. And then allow that to boil on medium to high heat, stirring every once in a while to not burn it. We can then add our noodle. You can use tongs or chopsticks to uh, turn the noodle and coat that with the sauce. Um, or if you are like me, you could just use a gloved hand. I just think it's a lot easier. You can really get in there and make sure that the noodles are really, really well coated. 
Now we wanna allow our noodles time to cool. You could either leave them in the pan. I add them to a bowl because the cooling process goes quicker. Um, then once they're cool, I wanna give them another stir. Make sure that the noodles are not dry. We want them to be sticky but moist. We'll top it with our omelet and get that mixed in. Then we'll add our cilantro and our green onion um, and also continue to mix that in as well. Uh, you might wanna pop on a few of the dried, fried uh, Thai peppers uh, for some extra heat on the dish. And that's how you make kua mi. All the ingredients and measurements are in the description box below the video. Please like and subscribe if you wanna see more of this content. And as always, kap jai.